in to the Rewind Sports Network on KSLSports.com, as always, presented by Heidemann and Associates. Heidemann Associates is a flat rate law firm that is completely focused on you. Get a free consultation by calling 801 472 7742 or go to Utah.law to find the office nearest to you. I'm Alex Napolis, happy to be joined by Nate Carter. We're here at Roy High School for the matchup, Region 5 matchup, Roy versus Bonneville. Nate, week six, we're already more than halfway through the season. Time flies when you're having fun. We just keep trucking along. That's right, Alex. Weather is getting perfect. Nice, cool. No sweating up here on the roof for tonight's game. Ready to see these two teams play against each other. Now let's take a look at the matchup prior to the start of tonight's Region 5 contest. Let's take a look at the Bountiful Lake, or excuse me, the Bonneville Lakers first. The visiting Lakers, they come to this one at 3-2 and two overall. They're 2-0 and oh in Region 5 play. They started the season off a little shaky. They lost to Ridgeline 27-7. They lost to Springville 36-8. But they've really picked it up. They've won three straight wins against Fremont, win against Woods Cross. And I think the biggest win for this Lakers side is that bountiful win, 13-10 last week. Nate, what can you tell us about the visiting Lakers? Lakers able to squeeze out that field goal game against Bountiful and ready to take on a crosstown rival here with Roy. For the home side, the Roy Royals also coming to this one at 3-2, and two, but they're currently sitting at 1-1 one one in Region 5 play. They lost to American Fork to start the season, but then they bounced back. They beat Fremont, they beat Weber, and they beat Clearfield by a score of 56 to nothing. But then last week, the team, the Box the, the box Elder Bees, were able to defeat Roy, and now they have to look to bounce back and win. What can we expect from Roy tonight? Yeah, hard-fought match last week. Only punted once against Box Elder. The offense efficiency wasn't enough to keep up with that high-powered offense down there. They're looking to, they're hungry, they're looking to bounce back. We saw them take the field with some energy. This game has major Region 5 implications as to who's going to take this region. Obviously, Box Elder is a team that right now is currently leading with the Lakers, both at 2-0. and With a win tonight for Bonneville, they pretty much control Region 5. That's correct, Alex, as they are well aware of each other being 15 minutes down the road from each other. But with Royce moving down into this 5A region, first time these two teams get a match up for each other in a while. So we are seconds away from kicking off tonight's contest. It is the Roy Royals in their home black and yellow kicking off to the Bonneville Lakers in their white and yellow helmets. It's going to be Roy to kick things off, giving the ball to Bonneville. Yeah, looks like back to receive for Bonneville. Their stud running back, Ashton Archuleta, and number nine, Zach Combe, back deep to receive here. Kicking us off for the Royals is number 13, number 13, Easton Chowett to kick things off, a little pooch kick that lands into the hands of the Lakers and sets them up with a decent field position to start things off. Calls for a fair catch. Royal Royals still came out pushing them to the ground, not honored there by the ref. And we get to see this Bonneville offense come out with strong field position to start the game. So we'll have a chance to see the Lakers offense first. They're led by their starting quarterback. Yeah, number 16, Drew Gardner. Hasn't aired out too deep against uh, the team so far, but more of a ground and pound attack for them so far. That's uh, number 14, Jackson Johnson. Johnson takes the snap. He rolls out to his right. They're going pass on the first play. They're looking deep. The flags come out. Intercepted. And that one's coming back. Yeah, interception happened out of bounds here. As we see Bonneville Jackson Johnson scrambling, not able to get anywhere. Possible hold call early on this first play. And so we have a free play to start off the contest tonight. It is hold. It's going to go against the Lakers. And I think the Lakers maybe dodge one a little bit after throwing that interception. 
Yeah. Interception rule incomplete here, pushing them back to about 20, first and 20. First and 20 for the Lakers. A little miscommunication here for Bonneville. Head coach Afuvai has these Lakers playing really well at the moment. Again, coming into this one with a three-game winning streak as that one is ran out to the right. That was number 24, Isaac Manzare on the carry, and he almost got back to the original marker. Yeah, big pick up there on that power run play there for the Lakers. So it's going to bring up a second and 13 ball on the 35-yard line for the Lakers. As, again, Jackson Johnson lined up in the shotgun. The running back goes out in motion. Screen out to the running back. That's number 32 on the catch. That's Havili. Havili makes a move and gets past a couple of Royals before getting brought down at the 40-yard line. Nice game there from Havili. Yeah, nice draw up there to get Havili out in the space to move up the field, able to... Make this a third and eight manageable for the Bonneville Lakers. Lakers trying to get out of that hole they were in early. It's third down, ball on the 40-yard line. Johnson in the shotgun. Havili lined up in the backfield alongside next to him. It gets loud on third down here at Roy High School. Trying to get them to jump, and now the play comes from the sideline. And after the change here, Johnson takes the snap, looking to throw, just dumps it over the middle. Nice catch, brought down at the 40. Hauled in by number 34, Kyler Welch. Able to cross, stretch across the middle on that dagger route, able to pick up a big first down. Moving them across the 50-yard line and into Roy, Royal territory. Nice snag there from Welch to get the first. First down and ball on the 40. Johnson and company getting the play from the sideline as we get set to go here on the first down. Johnson lined up in the shotgun. Takes the snap, handoff. This time it's Havili. Havili who just runs it up, bounces off a swarm of Royals and then brought down. But that was Isaac Manzare on the carry. Yeah, the flag mate. comes out late. Late flag there. Great run there. Able to make man miss. Able to lower the shoulder. Bounces off a cornerback. Able to pick up a few yards after getting ripped down by the pile. And it's going to go against the home side. Sideline warning. It's going to bring up second down for the Roy Royals. Yeah, sideline warning. Players always excited to get as close as they can to the action. Can't get in the refs away, though. <laughs> second and four, ball on the 34-yard line. Johnson takes the snap. Handoff again. This time it's to number seven, Archuleta. Archuleta gets a yard or two on the carry, and so it's going to bring up third down. Yeah, senior running back, most productive uh, rushing attack for the team so far this season. Big third down coming up here for Bonneville, hoping to get points on the board on their first drive of the game. Third down, it's getting loud again in here at Roy High. Third and three, ball on the 33. Johnson in the shotgun. Tight end in motion, and a flag comes out prior to the play. We'll see what the flag is here against the Lakers. Quick five-yard penalty. Looks like a false start here for the offense. So you go from 
Third and three, third and short to a little bit longer. We'll see what the Lakers are able to do on this third down. It's going to be third and eight, ball on the 38-yard line. Yeah, last third and eight, Bonneville is able to pick up the first down. See if they're able to get back to it. Johnson again heading to line up in the shotgun. Havili, the running back. Johnson swings it out, incomplete, intended for number 13, Mason Tanner. And so it's going to be fourth down for the Lakers. Yeah, not able to get the ball there. Looks like a special teams unit coming out to the field. Bonneville, it's a makeable range for a high school kicker. Alex? A little too far out, and it looks like it will be the punt team coming out for the for the Lakers, maybe Moose Bingham would uh, would attempt that one. Yeah, but uh, some legs out there. <laughs> we have number four, Levi Olson, back to punt, back to receive number five, Robert Young for the Royals. And so the Lakers will be looking to put pin the Royals deep as that ball is just punted away, and it'll just go straight through to the end zone and out for the touchback. First offensive drive for the Lakers. Nothing going there. We'll have our chance to see the Royals offense come out for the first time in this one. Yeah. Offense led by Drew Gardner this time for the Royals. Expect him to hand off a heavy dosage to their stud running back, Daquan Snyder, who has put up plenty of yards this season. So Gardner... Coming out with his offense, he'll line up in the shotgun on the first. One out wide to the far and one out on the near side as the flags come out prior to the play. False start. Yeah. Quarterback clapping for the snap, not able to get there. Quick five-yard penalty for the offense. So both offenses will be pushed back on their first play. This one is only a five-yard for the Royals as Gardner hands it right up the middle and gets about three yards on the gain. Robert Young. Robert Young again lined up in the backfield. Gardner in the shotgun. Receiver goes in motion. Takes a snap, pitch off this time to Young, but a flag comes out again prior to the play. Yeah, pre-snap moving again. Look like to be pushing back. The Royals another five yards. Oh, actual offsides, giving up five yards forwards for the offense. So this one will go against the Lakers and give... The home side Royals, uh, some yards as they head back to the line on second and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. Gardner trying to get the Lakers to jump again, but this time we'll change the play up. Gardner takes the snap, handoff to Young. Young runs it up to his right. Nice little run there from Young as he's brought down at the 37. Good run there from Young. Yeah, able to get the blocks in front of him, able to follow the running back up to the second level, or the fullback for him to make a block up there, moves the chains, first down. So first down coming up for the Royals. Ball on the 39. We got 7.39 left to go here in the first. Still tied at 0-0 as Gardner takes the snap, drops back to pass, looking to throw, going up the middle to Young, Young! He's going to take it all the way. That's going to be Royals touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Lakers defender trips up, leaving the man wide open on the post route across the middle of the field, able to catch the wide open ball, jog it right in the end zone. A quick six points here for the Royals offense. Robert Young putting on a show early in this one. Gets the big run to get the first down. And then the huge passing touchdown 
for Young. 6 nothing Royals lead. Here comes the PAT. Aiden Hart for the PAT. That kick is up. And the kick is good. And it's a 7 nothing Royal lead. A lot of motion in the wash. A late flag there after a simple PAT. We'll see what happens coming up next. And so we'll take a quick step away here on the Rewind Sports Network. It's 7 nothing Roy Lead. Welcome back into Roy High School. It was Drew it was Drew Gardner and Robert Young who were able to connect off a huge passing play through the air for the 7 nothing Roy Lead. And now the Lakers coming back onto the field to respond after going down. Yeah, Roy started the game with a pooch kick. Trying to catch the Lakers off guard, see if they go for that again or have a more traditional kickoff, try to send it towards the end zone. Easton Choate, the junior who's listed as a wide receiver on here, and he's seems to be the one to take these kickoff duties for the Royals. And so now Choate will booted away and the Lakers again will have a chance to return as that ball is off and we're back in play as that one will just go through the end zone and out for the touchback. Yeah, with the applied roughing the kicker call, extra five yards easily sends that one to the back of the end zone. And so again, this Bonneville offense taking the field. Matt, there, Jackson Johnson and this offense have to respond after going down. What did you see from that offense earlier on their first drive? First drive from the Lakers, they were able to make, move the ball at a decent rate. A couple big penalties, holding offside, or offsides, set them back into unmanageable territory. Hopefully they're able to calm down a little bit and get back into this one. Jackson now to take the snap. And he had, uh, Jackson keeps it, takes it up the middle, gets... A good run. I want to say that was about an eight-yard run there from Jackson Johnson. And so second down coming up for Roy, or excuse me, Bonneville. Yeah, a little misdirection on the jet sweep. Able to hold it in, fight for yardage. Big six-foot body there on the quarterback. Able to drag a defender for a couple extra yards and bring up a great position for second down. The senior quarterback, Jackson Johnson, using his feet, gets eight Second and two coming up, ball on the 27. Jackson, or excuse me, Johnson takes the snap. This time it's Havili. Stiff arm, gets past a couple, gets enough for the first, and then pushed out of bounds. Good run there from Tifaga Havili. Havili doing a great job running outside of the tackle. Speed, enough speed to get to the edge, pushing up. If you pick anybody in the defense, it's a cornerback I want to be trying to break tackles on. Havili's getting right to him. Avili gets the first. It's Laker first down. First and ten. Ball on the 38. 620 left to go here in the first. Again, it's the Royals who lead 7-0. Johnson and this offense trying to come back and tie things up. Johnson sends a receiver in motion. That's going to be number nine, Zach Combe, who just sweeps it across. Gets about six on the sweep. Yeah, big outside zone attack here for the Lakers that we've seen so far. Great way to wear out a defense as they're trying to cover the field sideline to sideline. If you're conditioned enough, you can really take advantage of a team. Lakers so far getting that ball to the outside, working for them on this drive. As the play comes in from the sideline, second and four, ball on the 44. We don't have a play clock on the scoreboard, so sometimes as it takes a while for the Lakers to get the play in, it could get risky here. And that's Johnson with the keeper just right up the middle, maybe gets two on the game. Third down coming up for the Lakers. All right, big two-yard pickup here for the Lakers in order to keep this drive alive. Ball on the 46-yard line. Johnson and this offense trying to convert, get the first on third down. 
Johnson gets him to snap on the hard count. Excited defensive lineman on the third down, ready to make a play. Jumps off sides, giving the Lakers a first down and just three quarters of a yard over the 50 yard line. Nice, nice play there from the offense to just get, get him with the hard count, get the first. And so now it's first and 10, 49. Johnson takes the snap. He's going to be. Rolls out to his right, still on his feet is Johnson, and he just runs it up the middle. And how about Jackson Johnson, who gets the first, escapes the pressure. <laughs> yeah, crazy to see there. Johnson dancing like Michael Vick in the backfield, able to make three, four defenders miss before he's able to keep rushing up the field for a first down. Big moves there by the quarterback. Big play from Jackson Johnson, the senior quarterback. First down and 10, ball on the 38. They are marching into Roy territory. And we'll see what they're able to do here on first down as Johnson again lined up in the shock and takes the snap. Looking to throw, that's bounced out to Normandy. And he's going to get it for a big gain. Or excuse me, that was Mansoury. Huge gain there from the running back. Late penalty there. Possible holding against the offense. We see some defensive substitutions coming out for the Royals as they prepare to keep the Lakers out of the red zone. Mansoure again just goes out wide, the junior running back. Bounces it out. They get a big gain, but it's going to go back because of the hold. Holding penalty, pushing back to about a first and 13 here. Again, a couple ill time penalties. Could be the kryptonite for this offense. To... So the Lakers on first down, first and 14. It's going to be... Johnson lined up in the shotgun. Havili alongside him. Drops back to pass. Dumps it off to Havili. And can't get past. It looks like that was number zero. Logan Sella. And a and he'll lose yards on that one. Yeah. All the, well, well designed screenplay. Just Sella able to make a play there. Blow up the ball in the backfield. As we even bigger second and 15 at least for the Lakers. Big read from Sella on the screen. Second and 17. Ball on the 45. Two 57 left to go here in the first. 7 nothing Roy lead. Johnson lined up in the shotgun. Havili on the sideline for this one as Archuleta comes in. Drops looking to throw. Just dumps it off to number nine, Zach Combe. It's going to bring up third and long. For yeah, the, uh, Johnson for reading the field. Checked it down to the open man. Hoping he pick up more yards after the catch. Great job there by the Royals again. Rallying up and making a play. Making life hard for the Lakers after they crash midfield. Third and long for the visiting Lakers. Ball on the 42-yard line. We'll see what Johnson and this offense are able to do on third down. Defensive line giving Johnson a hard time in the backfield. So far, he's just been able to make plays, though. Johnson drops back to pass, looking to throw. The pressure's coming right up the middle, and it's incomplete. Intended for number 34, Kyler Welch. Can't bring it in, and it's going to bring a fourth down. Offensive line able to get a solid pocket there for Johnson as he swings looking around the field, not able to get enough onto it. it looks like we'll see the punt team again roll out here for the Lakers. Two drives, two punts coming up for the visiting Bonneville Lakers. They'll give the ball back to Roy here on fourth down. We'll see if they can pin them deep. 
off the punt. Olsen takes the snap. The ball is away. And that's going to be Robert Young to return. And he's wrangled up, still on his feet, but then brought down. Gets maybe five on the return. Robert Young there, sneaky. Yeah, able to fight for a few extra yards there. Royals defense coming off the field. Must be excited. Already forced two punts tonight. Was only able to get one out of Box Elder last week in the high-scoring affair. And so now Drew Gardner and this Royals offense coming out for their second drive of the evening. And we'll see what the Royals have up their sleeves as the tight end goes in motion, but the flags come out prior to the play. Quick flex here as the offense gets pushed back again, five yards. Deja vu, Alex. Could end well for him again. So Gardner and this offense behind the sticks on first down again. First and 15, ball on the 11. Gardner takes the snap and another flag prior to the play, Nate. Yeah, we aren't hearing too much here up in the booth, so I don't know if it's a hard count issue or just an excited offensive lineman. First and 20 is not an ideal situation from your own 13. Back to back. False starts here for the Roy Royals after scoring on their last drive. Second drive, they're behind the sticks on first and 20. Gardner takes the snap, looking to throw. That's a catch and a big catch as he's going to take it. That is a huge play by the Roy Royals. It looks like that was number eight, Isaiah Morris, Isaiah, on the catch. Isaiah Morris does a great job one-on-one, -on -one, able to beat his man on the quick slant, break it up to the second level, keeps going, and busts it down to the 25-yard line. First and 20, no big deal for the Roy Royals. Huge play from Isaiah Morris. It's going to bring first and 10, ball on the 26. As Roy looking to add more to the board, but we got a timeout taken by the Bonneville Lakers after the, they allow the huge play. Yeah, definitely a chance for the coach to talk it in there, double check their scheme and make sure everybody's on the same page. So, Nate, we're week six. It's starting to get darker earlier. It's starting to get a little bit cooler. You know what that means? Oh, what does that mean, Alex? It's a perfect time to go get your Igloo Outfitter because the Igloo Outfitters has the coziest wearable sleeping bag, and it has you covered during the most chilliest days and nights. Worry no more about the weather and watch your favorite team in comfort with Igloo Outfitters. Go to IgloOutfitters.com and enter Rewind for $20 off. Never miss the moments with Igloo Outfitters. I know there's times my parents sitting in the stands would have loved a wearable sleeping bag to keep them warm to watch some high school football. IgloOutfitters.com. Enter Rewind for $20 off. First and 10 coming up for the Roy Royals. Ball on the 26 after the huge play from Isaiah Morris. Bonneville looking to stop this offense from any more big plays. That one just handed right up the middle to Solder and then taken down enough for the first. That's about a 12-yard gain for Snyder. Snyder's been a machine this season. Most rushing yards on the team. Again, just right up the middle to Snyder. Snyder trying to get past, but then a swarm of Lakers taking him down after a seven yard gain. Just forcing the ball between the tackles, keep pounding it down as they get closer and closer to this end zone. Daquan Snyder staying in the backfield, handoff again to Snyder, but this time maybe two yards on the gain, but a flag comes out. Able to make a defender miss at the line of scrimmage, not the second one. Quick flag coming out here. 
And so we'll go against the offense after two big runs from Snyder. And so we'll have a second down for the Roy Royals. Yeah, second in about 12 here for the Royals as they look to put another touchdown on the board. Snyder again lined up in the backfield and another false start. Yeah, miscommunication here on the line. Would not want to be that offensive line room come Monday for practice. Saturday morning film was always my favorite. Yeah, that's a chance to figure out how bad, no, win or loss, find out how bad you did during the game. Welcome back into Roy High School. I'm Alex Napolis. Happy to be joined by Nate Carter. We're getting ready to start the second quarter here at Roy High. It is a 7-0 Roy lead, and we apologize for any technical difficulties on that end of the first quarter. But we got to change the quarterback here as Cariaga comes in, and he's just going to run it right up the middle, and it's going to be touchdown, Roy. No, stop short from Cariaga. You know, but second in inches as we might have missed a first a series that started first and 20 for the Royals, able to pick it up in four downs, able to go under center for a fourth and in inches to bring up this first down and now second down for the Royals. So Joseph Cariaga will stay out there in the quarterback position as they get him with the hard count. It's going to go against the Lakers. Bring a second and less inches for the Royals. Royal huddling up here. So after last night's game, we'll probably see that tush push that you mentioned earlier. Possibly again, let that running back get up behind him just like the Eagles do with Jalen Hurst. But he's still in shotgun, maybe, maybe not. Cariaga in shotgun. It looks like it's Logan Sella, the defensive end, lined up in the backfield. As Cariaga will now take it in. Touchdown, Roy. Second touchdown of the night for the Royals. First going to Robert Young on a deep ball. Second coming from second and in inches as Cariaga is able to delay run it in untouched to the end zone. Big play from Joseph Cariaga to get the touchdown. 13 nothing pending the PAT. It's Aiden Hart out for the point after try. As that kick is up, and the kick is good. And so it's a 14 to nothing Roy High lead. Big boot there puts up the Royals 14 to nothing again. See if the Lakers can get out of their own way with the penalties and get on the board. And again, we do apologize for any technical difficulties that we experienced prior to the end of the first quarter. If we're not sure what was caught, what wasn't, but if it wasn't caught, it was a first and 20 for Roy. They were able to just run it up the middle with uh, with Daquan Snyder. Snyder was able to get put in a good position, and Cariaga just finished the drive to put it in the end zone. Again, we get to see the kickoff team for Roy as we've seen a pooch kick and a kick out the end zone. Huddled up now deciding. Again, back deep to receive Aston Archuleta and Zach Combe for the Lakers. And so Easton show it to kick things off again. Eleven oh six left to go here in the second, and we are underway again as that one will just roll through the end zone and out for the touchback. Coming out from the 20-yard line, Jackson Johnson and the Bonneville Lakers. Having success running outside the tackles only thing in their way so far has been untimely penalties. And 
so Jackson Johnson and this offense coming out again. Looking to respond. 14 unanswered for the Lakers. Johnson lined up in the shotgun. Havili in the backfield will go in motion. Johnson will just run it right up the middle and be met by a wall of that D-line for the Royals. Solid pad thump as he hits that pile. Brought down after three yards. So three yards from Jackson Johnson will set up a second and seven. Ball on the 22-yard line. 23, excuse me. Play coming in from the sideline again. Lakers set up in a three-wide set to the wide side of the field. And so Johnson will take the snap, rolls out to his right, looking to throw, dumps it off. That's going to be number six, Cameron Howell on the catch. And a flag comes out late. Number six on the reception, Cameron Howell, driven out of bounds. Yeah, great ball there for Johnson on the run, able to get that out to Howell. Let's see what the penalty is here. The flag's in the middle of the field. And so it'll go against the Lakers with the ineligible receiver. Another penalty here against the Lakers. As they're still finding rhythm here with 10 minutes left in the second quarter. Clock starts again, 10-15 left to go in the second. 14-0, Roy leads. Ball on the 23-yard line as we have a second and 12. Johnson takes a snap, looking deep, and Combe with the catch. What a snag from Combe, and he's pushed out of bounds. Huge reception for the Lakers. Combe with the DB draped on him, able to go up, pull it in. Great, great work there. Able to move up the, to the 50-yard line. Big play here for the Lakers. Comb or Combe. We apologize for the, if, for any mispronunciation. And so, Zach Comb or Combe, if you are, hit us up on Twitter. Let us know. Or X. Johnson takes the snap, looking to throw right over the middle to the tight end, and that's going to be number 34, Welch, on the catch, and enough, plenty for the first. Yeah, Welch able to find the hole in the zone defense. Great job by Johnson, able to find him here, move the sticks again for the Lakers. The Lakers, the Bonneville Lakers, put it on a drive at the moment as Johnson takes the snap again, looking to throw, finds Welch, Welch all alone, and he's brought down by the Roy Royals. Yeah, Isaac Mansoure able to take two defenders all the heat off of Welch as they're able to move down deep into the red zone for the first time tonight. Bonneville knocking on the end zone. Putting on a good drive through the air. Cole making a big reception. Welch with back-to-back -back receptions. Here comes Johnson again, who takes the snap. Handoff this time to Manzare. And Manzare will get four yards on the gain as he rolls as he bounces out to the left. Yeah, still moving the ball down in the red zone. Getting closer and closer to the end zone. Havili now back in the backfield for the Lakers. Chaining up the play at the line. Looks like Royals could be in a one safety man look here, making sure there's a, a helmet on everybody. Johnson right up the middle with the quarterback keeper. That is short of the line of game, but it'll bring up about a third and two for the Lakers. Yeah, about, yeah, a little longer two than it looked. Johnson again, just straight up the middle, and he's met by the Royal D-line. 
Yeah, D-line able to make a stand there. Hit the pile. It did not move. Great stand there by the defense D-line. As we see, short a little less than a yard for the Lakers. Four and one. Ball on the four-yard line. This one's big for the Bonneville Lakers as they are trailing with 719 left to go here in the second. We'll see what Johnson and company are able to do. Two receivers lined up on the near side. Receiver goes in motion. Johnson with the keeper gets the first and then met by the Royals. The spot here could be close. Both players pointing that they got it. Johnson on the keeper. We'll see where the spot is. They might have to bring out the chains Ooh, for this one. Chain gang. Close to the line again. Uh, gave him the first down. First down, Lakers. First and goal, Lakers. Right here in the red zone. It's always tough. You just need a yard. You're still lining up your quarterback in the shotgun. Just get him up there on the line. Big six-foot body able to push it up. Always, always tough to teach a quarterback in the center two different snaps, though. Big play from Johnson in this offense. They get the first. And so now on first and goal, Johnson looking to throw, and that is touchdown thrown to Welch. Touchdown, Lakers. Johnson, Welch connection, story of the drives. They connect multiple times for big yards down the field and put up the first touchdown, which could be stymied by this penalty. We'll see what they call. Ineligible wide receiver down the field. And so it'll take the touchdown off the board for the Bonneville Lakers. Push him back five yards here, putting him at the seven-yard line, trying to get in first and goal from the seven-yard line for the Lakers. Again, untimely penalties. Story of the night so far for the Lakers. Johnson now in the shotgun, takes the snap. He's looking to throw. We'll have to run it up the middle, get some good yards. Brought down at maybe the three-yard line, but a good keeper there from Johnson. Yeah, able to negate the penalty, able to the yardage that they had prior. Still looking to get into the end zone on a clean play. So second and six, or excuse me, second and three coming up for the Bonneville Lakers. They need to get it into the end zone. And second down coming up for Johnson and company as he takes the snap. Hand off to Havili, and that is going to be touchdown, Bonneville. Bonneville answers back. Hand off inside to Havili, able to get down to the end zone for a touchdown. Big comeback here for the Lakers to be able to get on the board. The Lakers marching down the field, ball through the air, and then just runs it near the red zone, is able to get their first po first points of the night. Archuleta to attempt the PAT. With Archuleta, that ball is snapped, that kick is up, and the kick is blocked, no good. Snap came in a little low as it kind of rolled to the holder, not able to get it up in time. Great block there by the Royals. Nice step, or excuse me, nice way for the special teams to step up there for the Roy Royals. Make sure that point doesn't go on the board with the blocked PAT. And so now it's a 14 to six. Roy Royal lead with 526 left to go here in the second quarter. Yeah, we did see the Lakers last week against Bountiful put up 13 points on the board. Two touchdowns, one missed uh, PAT in that game as well. Something to look to clean up here as the season continues. First time we get to see this kick return team for the Royals and this kickoff team for the Lakers. It's going to be Levi Olsen, the punter, coming out to 
just boot this one away. Back to return for the Royals. Robert Young already has a touchdown on the night. And by 21, Keely Aneke. Nate, that's the smell here is just fantastic. Yeah. You can smell the grill down there. Nice little pooch kick here from the Royals, or excuse me, from the Lakers. It's met. Look at attempt to pooch the ball out just about 40 yards. See those 40 yard dash beats from your kickoff team trying to get an up man. See if they can make a mistake there. Decent field position here for the Royals. But you're right, Alex. I don't know if they just threw another bag of hot dogs on the grill or what, but that's that's a tasty <laughs> smell. I got distracted on that last one. Right? You just smell it from up here. It smells beautiful. We are right above the grill. <laughs> First and 10 coming up for the Roy Royals. Ball on the 33-yard line. Garner back in a QB. Takes a snap. Handoff right up the middle to Snyder. That ball comes out. Fumble recovered by the Lakers. And it's Bonneville ball. Bonneville able to answer back after a touchdown. A little chippy afterwards as words were exchanged. Mason Turner, ball popping out, rolling right to him, able to sweep it up. One of the leading tacklers on the Bonneville defense finds himself in the right spot. And so we'll see what the flag is. Came out late. Yeah, there was a lot of celebration happening on sidelines. Could have got a little chippy down there as we have five minutes left before halftime. These Royals to one possession, try to tie it up. Talk about a huge shift of momentum you had at the Roy Royals, putting up 14 unanswered to start this one, and then Lakers just trot it downfield. They get their points, and then now the ball is coming back with that Laker offense. Refs saw a little too much celebration here. Dead ball. Still set him up a first and ten. Starting on their own 48-yard line. See if this Laker offense was continue to click on this trip down the field. And so after the Roy Royal fumble recovered by the Bonneville Lakers, we have a first and ten coming up. Ball on the 48-yard line for the visiting Lakers. Johnson lined up in the shotgun, ready to take the snap. Rolls out to his right. He's looking to throw. He goes downfield, and that's going to be run right back by the Royals, intercepted by Jake Fires. Two wide receivers in the area, just not able to get enough air under it. It looks like a flag on the field during the play. As Byers able to ball hawk that one out. Um, we'll see what the call is here. The play will stand or be declined. So it won't count. And so after Snyder fumbles it away, the Lakers recover. I was talking about a change of momentum. It's right back with Roy after that interception. Yeah, great response there for the defense, able to get their offense right back on the field. Garner now to lead this offense. Takes the snap, this time handed off to Isaiah Morris, and he's just met in the backfield, taken down. He'll lose yards. Looked like a speed package in the backfield, not able to get the motors going before Bonville was able to get in the backfield and stuff it. Nice play there from the Bonneville def or excuse me, the Bonneville defense coming up and taking him down in the backfield for the loss. Second and about 14 coming up for Roy as that ball is snapped. Handoff. This time passed off to Isaiah Morris, and Morris making a big play and pushed out of bounds. Almost gets enough for the game. Yeah, fights down. Looks like they'll put him two yards short of the first down. Bring up a third and short for the Royals. I think the Royals have done a good job tonight of showing that even if they are behind the sticks, even if they do have 
a long way to go to get the game. They've been able to come up big and make some big plays to get those back. Yeah, been able to dial in plays for all downs and distances. As that one is ran up the middle, but a flag comes out prior to the play. Yeah, it looks like that coming out before the snap. Possible jump at the line, pushing back the offense five yards, bringing up a third and seven now for the Royals. Look like Lakers offense bit hard on the give to the running back. Gardner could have had it manageable time bouncing out, picking up the first down. Now a little bit further back now as he attempts again. Third and long for the Royals. Gardner dropping back, finds Robert Young, and Robert Young pushed out of bounds. Plenty for the first. Yeah, it looks like linebacker wasn't able to drop out into that <laughs> into the flats there to cover anybody chasing the run, bringing up a big Royal first down for third and eight. Robert Young got the first touchdown for Roy. He's now able to get a huge gain to get them the first, and we got the flags coming out again prior to the play. Yeah, I'm not sure if the center is a tick slow or the rest of the offensive line is a tick fast for Royce snap count as that's about the fourth or fifth false start for the offense. Well, we've seen this one before. Roy behind the six. Yeah, still able to dial up plays for all downs and distances. All right, yeah, 14 on the board. Looking to score here with three minutes and 30 seconds left before halftime. First and 15 ball on the 46 for the Royals. Garner takes a snap, shoveled out to Young. Young bounces out to the left. He finds space and then seems like he just tripped up over his own feet. Yeah, knee down. Able to get almost about six yards of the play where he's tripped up there, bringing up second and ten for the offense. Gets back to the original marker, and Robert Young is in and out an athlete. He's done a fantastic job tonight, not only running the ball, catching the ball, returning the ball. Robert Young has been very good for Roy tonight. Yeah, doing a great job. Just listed here on the depth chart as athlete, doing a great job living up to it. <laughs> second and ten coming up, ball on the 49. And a flag comes out again prior to the play. And so Robert Young gets five yards on the last play and now brought back again for the false start. Yeah, a little back and forth here, making it tough for the offense. It's a minute winds off the clock now with two minutes and 30 seconds here in the half. Let's see if the home side Roy Royal is able to put some more points on the board prior to the end of the first half as that clock ticks away. Second and 15 coming up, ball on the 46 yard line. Gardner. And flags come out again prior to the play. Just a flinch there by the offensive line. Defensive lineman moving around a lot pre-snap, getting him excited. Actually, moving back, looks like a timeout here for Roy to be able to try to get the whole offensive line on the same page. So the officials will say that Roy took the timeout prior to the flag coming out, and so timeout taken on the field, and we'll take a quick one as well here on the Rewind Sports Network. Back into Roy High School, 2.08 left on the clock. Roy with a second 15, ball on the 46. Garner, empty backfield. Rolls out, looking to throw, going deep in the direction of Young, and it's incomplete, overthrown to Robert Young, but he's asking for a flag. Yeah, tough situation there. He's nowhere near the ball, coming in there, not able to connect on the deep ball. Good, good opportunity to take a shot, booting out your quarterback, getting the arm down there. Bringing up a third and long for the Royals. We've yet to see the punt team. 
Nate, you played defense. How was the coverage there on Robert Young on that play? On that play? Oh, I think he did a great job. How able to keep keep his body on the wide receiver. Nothing illegal there. Able to keep him away from the ball is just about as good as it can get. Gardner again, lined up in the empty backfield, drops back, looking to throw again, dumps it off. This time it's to Young. Young again just gets a good run, but it's going to bring up third, or excuse me, fourth down for the Royals. More than about six. I know I'm still unaware how un- ineligible wide receiver down in the field works when we see screen plays that the flag comes out on and doesn't come out on, Alex. I'll have to catch a ref after the game and get some clarification there. So the clock's still ticking down. 1.25 left to go here in the first half. Roy with a fourth down. Big decision here for Roy. Do you go for it or do you just uh, let the clock wind down a little bit and just punt it away? You might have a chance. You haven't seen... Oh, looks like taken, another timeout yeah. here by Roy. As they also are not sure what they're going to do. Looks like they want to draw something up, try to go for it. Bonneville's offense has not been quick enough to get the ball down the field in a minute. Obviously breaking out the plays they need to this late. And so while the timeout taken on the field, we'll take this time to let you know that Advanced Windows is having a fall window sale. You get $2,000 off 10 windows or more. 60 months, 0% interest financing available for a limited time only. Make sure to call 801-850-9100. Reach out to Advanced Windows. Go get your windows. It's getting colder. Go get your windows replaced. $2,000 off 10 windows or more. A minute eight left on the clock, about 8 p.m. here in Utah. We have a beautiful, almost Patagonia logo sunset across the valley, and we see the punt team for the first time tonight from Roy. Roy will just punt it away with 108 left to go. Give the Lakers an opportunity to maybe tie it up before the half. Yeah, Asher Archuleta, number seven, deep to return, headed towards the end zone. That one will roll into the end zone. It. It was close, though. It was close to rolling out close of bounds the right pylon. there at the run. Yeah. yeah, it could have been a tough situation here. Lakers coming out. Give Jackson Johnson a chance to respond after his interception on the last series. A couple of the big wide receivers, production-wise, for the Lakers are number 15, Max Diaz, and number 24, Isaac Menasari who've already done quite a bit of production so far. And I would throw Kyler Welch in there, too, number 34. Oh, yes, definitely, at least this game, been able to find open spots most of the evening. So first and 10 coming up, ball on the 20-yard line for Jackson. Johnson takes the snap handoff to Havili with the run play, and he's brought down after maybe a yard on that one. Yeah, it looks like Bonneville taking a conservative approach as this clock keeps winding down with only 45 seconds left. Second and nine, ball on the 21-yard line for Jackson Johnson and this offense. As that play comes in from the sideline. Johnson lined up in the shotgun, takes the snap, handoff again to Havili, who finds a lane up the left side and then brought down after quite possibly five on the game. Oh, so, 10 seconds left on the play clock, Alex. Doesn't look like we'll get any more action for the half. And so we've reached the end of the second quarter, halftime, and it's the Roy Royals who lead 14-6 to against the Bonneville Lakers in this Region 5 matchup. Nate, talk to me. What have you seen from the Roy so far? Roy's done a great job. Only been stopped on one, or I guess two. I guess we saw Bonneville finally find an answer for Roy's offense, being able to force a turnover and a punt. Uh, Lakers coming in late, able to get six on the board. 14-6, to six, we still have a ball game going into the second half. How about the Lakers offense? Yeah, able to find some rhythm, able to get the ball down the field on a drive. 
hopefully be able to continue to click in the second half and what we were expecting to be a high scoring affair and so we've reached the end of the first half it is a 14 to not, 14 to 6 roy royals lead we'll take a quick step away here on the rewind sports network make sure to stick with us for second half action when we return Welcome back into the rewind sports network on kslsports.com as always presented by heineman and associates we're getting ready to kick off the second half here between the Roy Royals, who are up 14 nothing, or excuse me, 14 to six against the Bonneville Lakers. Nate, your thoughts on that first half? First half, Royals came out hot, able to put up two back-to-back -back touchdowns on the board. Lakers late to find a groove, able to finally find the end zone for six points. So we have a big second half coming up. Big second half indeed, as a remember that these two teams coming to this one at 3-2. and two. Bonneville right now looking to take control in Region 5. They're at 2-0. and oh. Depending on what happens down over in Box Elder with the Bees, they could very well control Region 5 at the end of the night. Yeah, just do, just do what you can control, Alex. Take care of business tonight. Let the cards fall where they may and coming back again next week ready to play teams just going through the quick warm-ups here as we get ready to start the second half there's one player in particular that i just want to get your thoughts on real quick before this one starts give us your thoughts on number five robert young robert young's been all over the field tried to return a big punt here had the first touchdown of the night a big post play that he was able to take to the house for over 50 yards. And been flying around, dangerous with the ball. Been fun to watch. And so we're again, we're just getting ready to kick things off here in the second half. The Roy Royals who kicked off in the first half. And yeah. so they'll receive here in the second. First half full of penalties, able to slow it down a little bit for us. Hopefully teams will be able to better communicate out here for a cleaner second half. Again, it's the Roy Royals here at home in their black and yellow and the Bonneville Lakers over on the far side. The visitors in their away whites and yellow helmets. Yeah, the yellow shoulders on the Royals give a bit of a Steelers vibe in the house tonight. Looks like the sun has completely set across the valley. We see the return team coming out for the Royals. And now the kickoff team for the Lakers. Looks like it's going to be Robert Young and Keely Elenke back deep to return for the Roy Royals. And of course, we'll have number four, Levi Olsen, kicking away for the visiting Lakers. All right, excited to kick off another second half of Utah football. Week 6, Region 5, Roy Royals taking on the Bonneville Lakers and we are underway here again in the second half. Another little pooch kick from Levi Olsen. Big block there from the Roy Royals as they were trying to get a little bit more on the gain, but a decent gain off the pooch. It looks like Adam DeMille the linebacker able to fly down the field, make first contact on the returner, bringing up a first and 10 from the Royals 35-yard line. It was Tristan Connell who was able to just catch the pooch and try to get a, a return on that one. And So now Roy coming out here in the second half, and it's Cariaga in at quarterback. Joseph Cariaga. Takes the snap, rolls out to his right. He's just going to keep it, and he's going to take it. Finds the edge and gets plenty for the first. Just a speed out route. <laughs> They're 
by the speedy quarterback, able to find the edge, turn it up the field. Quick first down, second half for the Royals. Big play there from Joseph Cariaga. There's another seven quarterback that was pretty quick with the ball. Able to get out there, make players miss. Cariaga again. Direct snap, and it's just gonna he's just gonna bounce out to his right again. Another huge run from Joseph Cariaga, who's still on his feet. Cariaga might break through. He's at the 20. He's taken down near the 10. And Joseph Cariaga with a huge play to start the second half. Yeah, I thought for sure he stepped out of bounds. Ref said he was still good as he was able to find a big crease there. Put the jukes on the defenders and bring them right up for a first and 10 on the 11-yard line. Crazy speed there for the quarterback. Incredible play there from Cariaga as they are now in the as the Roy Royals are now in the red zone. Looking to add to this lead with the feet of Joseph Cariaga, who also has a touchdown in this one, was able to score the second one for Roy. Takes a snap, handoff this time to Robert Young, who tries to find some space and brought down. Yeah, fun to see all the athletes here on this Roy offense. A lot of playmakers being shifted in and out of series as they're able, knocking on the door of the end zone to put on more points. So it's going to be second and eight coming up for Roy. Ball on the nine-yard line after the short run from Robert Young. Young again lined up in the backfield. Cariaga in the shotgun. We'll see which runner will take the ball as that one's handed off to Robert Young. Finds a hole, breaks out to the right. Still on his feet is Robert Young, and he is brought down at about the two-yard line, quite possibly there the one. Yeah, Young able to do a great job there, working his way up, shaking tacklers, juking to the outside, fighting back to the middle, giving about two yards, third and one for the Royals. Give credit a little bit there to that uh, Bonneville D-line for making sure that Robert Young wasn't able to get it into the end zone. And now Cariaga here will keep. He'll roll out to the right, just straight up the middle, and touchdown, Roy. Yeah, quick move there by Cariaga as he's able to dive back in, bring up a touchdown, quick touchdown on the board for the Royals. Coming out of the halftime. Cariaga replaces Drew Gardner to come out here in the second half, and he puts the offense on his back, rushes them into the end zone. And now it's a 20-6 Roy lead. Pending the PAT, of course, it's number 48, Aiden Hart to kick as that kick is up and the kick is good 21 to 6 Roy leads quick answer here from a change of speed from the quarterback for the Royals big score there to set the tempo in the second half and so after the touchdown again it's 21 6 Roy we'll take a quick step away here on the Rewind Sports Network back into Roy High School and so while we we, we cut out to break a, a late 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 flag flew out yeah it looks like a holding on the Royals pushing back a second PAT attempt taking the point off the board no wind out here tonight Alex should be able to punch it through again Aiden Hart he's got a good leg Yeah, so far making PATs with ease. 
was interesting because even that the the flag just came out very late from the officials. But here we are again, going for the PAT. Hart, that kick is up, and the kick is good from Aiden Hart, and so he makes it again, and now it will be 21-6, Roy Royals. And no flags. We see the kickoff teams ready to go here for a chance for the Lakers to respond here in the third quarter. And we'll take the opportunity to remind you that Heidemann & Associates is a flat-rate law firm that is completely focused on you. Get a free consultation by calling 801-472-7742 or go to utah.law to find the office nearest to you. Twenty-one six with 9.17 left to go here in the third. Back deep to return for the Lakers, Manasseri and Archuleta. As that one ran up the middle and brought down finally uh, it looks like that was Mansure on the return. Yeah, able to get a handful of yards coming off the play. We get to see Jackson Johnson and the Lakers offense coming out to the field to respond. So early in this one, Mansure, Havili, they were bouncing out wide, getting some good yards, and then... Roy was able to contain that, and so they switched up to the aerial attack, and they were put on a good drive through the air. How do we expect Jackson Johnson and his offense to come out here in the second half? Yeah, definitely started to find rhythm towards the end of the second half as we see outside zones run there by Archula. Mans Mans Mansere. Correct. Mansere taken down in the backfield. Big defensive play there from Roy. Yeah, Roy able to bring... Down the sweep in the backfield. Loss of downs for the Lakers. So second and 15, 16 coming up for Roy, or excuse me, Lakers. Ball on the 29 after Mansoura just taken down in that backfield. It's now Jackson Johnson getting the play from the other side. The, other, the far sideline, excuse me. Johnson takes the snap, rolls out to his right, looking to throw, going deep, and it is caught, caught by Bonneville. Makes a move, makes a miss, 10-5, touchdown, Bonneville. Bryson Howell coming down with a big grab there, able to make shake off a defender to get into the end zone. Big response here for the Lakers as we see a late flag on the field. Don't know after the play. We'll see here from the umpires as the refs decide the play on the. Huge, huge play there from Bonneville in this offense from Colwell. A white and, hat about to make the call. And the, the move that. Colwell made just right over here at about the 20 to just lose his defender and find space. And so it's going to go against Roy. A little extracurricular activity for the defense. And so now they're changing it. Now they're saying it is going to be on the visiting Lakers. Well, it looks like it could have been a... Oh, okay. They switched it up. The miscommunication there. Could have been offsetting penalties, but... Still clarifications here from the umpires. And... 
And so, confusion for, on on the field is uh, they're getting it sorted out still here on the sideline with head coach Solomona for the Roy Royals. Yeah, still not sure if the umpire misspoke. But it looks like the dead ball foul is going against the Lakers, pushing back the PAT attempt. And so the touchdown stands. Bryson Howell is a touchdown. Will stand. It will count. 21-12 pending PAT as it's going to be a far kick for Archuleta. First PAT attempt for the Lakers was blocked by the Royals after a less than spectacular snap. Hopefully the ball is able to get up and placed in time. And the kick is up, and the kick from Archuleta is no good. Hooks it to the left, and so no on the PAT, and it'll hold them 21-12. Archuleta thought from his angle it went up. It's tough to see all the way, but ref under the post thought it went wide. And so now, now the officials getting together to talk because Bonneville s- swears that that one went if it went in. And I don't know if there's another ref to disagree with it as we see the kickoff field starting to come. It looks like it will stand as a miss PAT. Yeah, head coach. Uh, Afuvai Afuvai is not happy over there on that sideline well as it stands Lakers now 12 points chasing the Royals with 21 here 8 minutes left to play in the third quarter So confusion on the touchdown, confusion on the PAT, but uh, ultimately we're here now with the kickoff as Olsen will just send it away as that one goes out of bounds and the flags come out. The ball came off the boot. A little awkward as that ball sails out of bounds, giving the Royals better field position to start their drive. The last drive, Joseph Cariaga came out, got huge yards on the ground, and then ultimately ended it by punching it into the end zone. Joseph Cariaga using his speed, and he looks like he'll be the one coming out again to lead this offense. Yeah, opportunity here to ride the hot hand for the Royals. As we saw this speedy quarterback come whipping around the field. He reminds me a little bit of uh, Isaiah Sui Sui that we saw a lot last yeah, year. Another quick player under center. And here comes Cariaga again. And he pounces out to the right, has a lane. Cariaga now taking it up the sideline, brought down past the 40 yard line. Joseph Cariaga, huge play again. Another lethal run by the senior quarterback as he is able to get behind blockers and then peel out to the outside and get that edge. Joseph Cariaga putting the team on his shoulders, putting this offense on his shoulders. He's just running around this Lakers defense at the moment. First and 10 coming up on the 37. 740 left to go here in the third. As Cariaga again keeps this time, he'll roll out to the left, finds a lane, taking it upfield. He's at the 20, he's at the 10, and pushed out of bounds at about the 5. Yeah, another wide zone run here for the Royals, able to get the outside. We do have a flag closer to the line of scrimmage. Regardless of what this flag is, and so it looks like it'll be holding against the offense. But regardless, right now, this Bonneville Lakers defense has no response for Joseph Cariaga. No, the sideline to sideline speed in this quarterback is lethal as he continues to get down the field on him. 
And so it'll come back, and now Carriaga heading to the bench. Drew Gardner back in the game for the Roy Royals. Give the man a breather. I'm sure we see him again tonight. And in the first half, Drew Gardner has done has been fantastic at even when he's behind the sticks, finding the play to get him the first. Yeah, behind the sticks, been able to find a check down. A couple of keepers also dangerous with, with his legs tonight. And so now Drew Gardner in this offense taking over at a first and 20. And more confusion from the officials. A little ref huddle there, trying to get on the same page. Just trying to just trying to talk over the spot of the uh, the spot of the ball. And so ball on the 47, first and 20, coming up for. Roy as that ball handed off to Cole, uh, Sella and he is just completely met in the backfield. Nice pressure there from Lakers. Yeah. Number five Tatita able to wrap him up in the backfield making another loss of a yard bringing up a long second down for the Royals. Second and 21 ball on the 48 yard line. Clock ticking down here for Roy at home. 6.17 left on the clock. Joseph, or excuse me, Drew Garner line up in the shotgun. It's Sella line up in the backfield as Garner will air it, put it underneath, and Morris can't haul it in. Incomplete. Looks like the coverage was a little too close to call as a pass interference coming out there. Could have been hand play on the backside. We were not able to see from here. Looks like that will be from the spot of a ball. From the spot of the ball, a pass interference penalty for the defense. So the flags come out after Isaiah Morris and Drew Garner can't connect on the deep ball. Here comes the officials. Holding on the defense. Holding on the offense. Penalties offset. Replay second down. And so we'll just replay that second down. Yeah, offsetting penalties. Almost a bailout for the Royals as they get another attempt on this second down. See what they dial up here. We've seen them already in the red zone come back from a first and 20 yards possession. So second and 20 coming up. Ball on the 47 yard line as uh, Drew Garner lined up in the shotgun. Robert Young lined up in the backfield. That ball, Drew Garner drops back to pass, looking to, fr looking to throw, looking in the direction of uh, it's number 21, Elenic. And it goes incomplete, but the flags come out again. Yeah, Isaac Mansour able to get between the ball and the wide receiver. Looks like another holding penalty is going to continue to back up this Royal offense. Coming off of a clean first drive out of the second half. This one is quite the opposite. And they're now very behind the sticks. It's second and... Ooh, I'm counting about 28 yards. Second and 30, according to the board. I cannot count that high, apparently, <laughs> Alex. Second and very, very long for Roy. As Garner throws it out to Elenk. And Elenke has a big opportunity as Mansare pushes him out of bounds. Huge reception there. Yeah, coming off the bubble screen. The safeties both towards the middle of the field, able to catch that edge, making this a third and manageable. 
after a second backs against the wall. So second and 30 brings up a third and five after Elenek, or excuse me, four after Eleneke with a huge reception for the Roy Royals. Gardner takes the snap, this time handed off to Sella and brought down behind the marker. They'll call him short at the four, uh, or excuse me, with the, a yard short. Fourth and short. We've seen the Royals go for it before. Under center trying to push it up there. Looks like that's the call again on this fourth down. Garner will go under shotgun, or excuse me, under center, and sell a lineup in the backfield. Garner looking to sneak it through. Did he get it? See the spot? I'm not sure. It's going to be a close one there as he tried to step to the outside of the tackle to get the ball. It's all going to come down to the spot, though. It looks short from up here. Get those chains out there. <laughs> Another shout-out for the chain gang. <laughs> Lakers ball. Downs. Great defensive stand there for the defensive line, able to not give up that last yard needed. Be able to get the offense back out on the field. Great job again. Again, in a situation where the Roy Royals are just completely backed up behind the sticks, and this one even more than they have been all night at second and 30, they almost got it. They were almost able to convert on that first. Yeah, it was that outside run play that got them down to the two-yard line but was called back for a holding. Set just a domino effect of other penalties. Royals not able to dig themselves back out of that hole. They might not have gotten the first, but I w I'm impressed that they almost got out of that four and 30. Here comes the Lakers offense as Johnson decides to keep, runs up the middle, and gets five on the game. Another strong run there by Jackson. Looks like he's coming up a little slow. So we have it injury timeout on the field and we'll take one as well here on the welcome back into Roy High School after Jackson Johnson was able to walk off and it one's going to be brought down as Mansure could not bring in the snap yeah ball came out hot on the snap not able to guide it in loss on the play bringing up a long third down is Johnson still on the side or coming back out? I stand corrected. Coming back out to try to pick up a big third down for the Lakers. Jackson Johnson and this offense on third and 14. 345 left to go here in the third. It's a 12 to 21 deficit for the Bonneville Lakers. Johnson drops back to pass, looking deep, and that is incomplete. Jackson Johnson, the heart of a champion, fights to get stay on the field, not able to get the ball where he wanted it, bringing out the punt team for the Lakers. Still holding his hip as he comes off to the sideline. And so the Bonneville Lakers, again, just can't convert on third down, third and long in this in this situation. And so now it's 4-14 four and 14 as they'll just punt it away as Olsen, the punter in for the Bonneville Lakers. Back deep to return. It looks like it's Isaiah Morris and Robert Young. Olsen will get this one away. Isaiah Morris bobbles it. It comes out. The flags are out. It looks like Roy is able to fall on it, but. Recovered by the Royals. Yeah. Penalty, on the play. Penalty coming out. Royals able to retrieve it. Dangerous situation there. No penalty. No penalty. Flags being waved off. Could have been the possession flag that the ref was reaching for and accidentally grabbed the yellow one that we've seen plenty of times tonight. And so, Roy, I think dodge a big one there on the the bobbles or the muffed uh, punt yeah see strong yardage here for the Royals 
coming out at their own or at the Lakers 36 yard line. Nice field position here for Cariaga, who's back on to lead this offense. Cariaga lined up in the shotgun. It looks like that's Sella lined up in the backfield. Cariaga takes the snap, handoff to Sella. Sella can't break up the middle, and he's brought down after maybe a couple inches on the game. Yeah, it looks like taking down just inches over the line of scrimmage, bringing up second and nine for the Royals. Ball on the 35-yard line as Cariaga again will take it in the shotgun and sell a line up alongside him. This time Cariaga keeps trying to run up the middle, trying to find that hole brought down after a five-yard gain on that one. Yeah, nowhere to go on that one for Cariaga to slip out, taken down after five yards. Cariaga on this offense just taking their time getting to the line. They have no need to rush. They currently have that 21 to 20 or 12 lead with 210 left to go here in the third as again Cariaga lined up in the shotgun to on the near side. Cariaga will roll out to his right, cuts up and he's met at about the line of gain, but the flag comes out behind the play, so we'll see what the call is. Yeah, possible holding on the outside. Player a little slower to get up in the pile. It looks like, yeah, he was definitely short of the first down. And so we got a player down behind the plane. We'll take a quick step away here on the Rewind Sports Network. Welcome back into Roy High School. Drew Garner in this offense coming up now on a third and long as that one is out to Elenke. Elenke here can't get past a swarm of Lakers and they'll bring him down short of the game. Yeah, bringing up interesting fourth down situation. Looks like the offense is staying out on the field to go for it. Possible chance for another hard snap here for the offense. Try to get the Lakers to jump off sides. Coach Solomona should uh, bring out Aiden Hart. He's got a leg. He can, he can make it from here. Fourth and three. Trying to get him to jump. And Garner will now roll out to his right as he's looking in the end zone. And it's caught all by himself is Cole West. And that ball will be set up at the five for the Roy Royals. Cole West on the defensive side leads this team in interceptions, able to find a big hole in the zone coverage, picking up a big first down, fourth down conversion, first and five, um, first and goal from the five yard line. So excited to be here, Alex. 27 seconds left on the board. We'll see if they decide to Just take their time with this one and get the touchdown before that clock expires. We'll see as Garner takes the snap. Handoff to Robert Young, who's met in the backfield and brought down after a big hit. Yeah, Havili coming out on the defensive end right there, able to stop the running back at the yard behind the line of scrimmage as we start headed into the fourth quarter. So we've reached the end of the third. It is a 21-12 Roy High lead. We're going to take a quick step away here on the Rewind Sports Network, as always, presented by Heidemann Associates. Stick with us for fourth quarter action when we return. Welcome back to Roy High School. Here we are starting the fourth quarter as the final countdown plays for the Royal Faithful. That ball snapped, and and it's a touchdown, Cariaga. Cariaga slips into the end zone, making this a three Nearly a three-possession game to start the fourth quarter. That is Joseph Cariaga's third touchdown of the evening. It's been a lethal weapon for the Roy offense. 
Picking up big chunk yardage and an excellent option in the red zone. Fantastic night from Cariaga as he gets his hat trick of touchdowns, and that one is going to go up for Hart, and it is no good from Aiden Hart. No good opens a small window for the Lakers as they continue to fight to get back in this one. And so to get us started here in the fourth quarter, it's the Roy Royals. You score a touchdown with Joseph Cariaga. It's now 47-12 to 12 with 11.56 left to go. And remember, it's getting cold. The mosquitoes are starting to come out at this time of night, and you, know, you want to be protected from that. So make sure to go over to Igloo Outfitters and get the coziest, most wearable sleeping bags because they have you covered during those chilly days and nights. Worry no more about the weather and watch your favorite team in the comfort with Igloo Outfitters. Go to IgloOutfitters.com and enter Rewind for $20 off. Never miss the moments. Wearable sleeping bag, order a pizza, turn on college football on a Saturday. Lock me up. I'm ready to go out. You've got me convinced, Nate. Show it out for the Roy Royals as he gets ready to kick things off again after the Cariaga touchdown. And they'll be going for a trickery here. I thought he was going to try that onside kick. It's lined up that way a few times so far. Last kickoff went out of bounds. Show it. We'll just boot it away, and Archuleta will receive it for the return as Archuleta runs up the middle and then makes one guy miss and then brought down. Yeah, decent field position here for the Lakers as they continue to fight back in the fourth quarter. Saw a big connection there for Hal scoring on a big one-on-one -on -one deep ball. See if hopefully hopefully Johnson will be able to stay healthy throughout this quarter and fight back for the, the Lakers. Jackson Johnson and his offense are down by three possessions. They need to get back into this one and it starts now with Johnson as he's looking to air one deep. It is caught and comes out. See if the ref calls. He's running down the field. It looks like he's calling it caught and out of bounds. There's a, there's a sign. It's incomplete. No, no, they're moving it. It's oh, good. They're moving it. Yeah, it's caught and then ran out of bounds. They're moving the sticks. Looks like Archuleta was able to haul that one in, running down the sideline, and then pushed out of bounds where the ball came out. Complete pass. Big throw there by Johnson. Definitely huge, the energy they need to get back in this one. Huge play there from Archuleta to just haul that one in and put the Lakers into Roy territory with just their second play of the drive. And it's now Johnson as he takes the snap, drops back, looking to throw again, goes over the middle, and it is intercepted, taken back by West. And now West with the return. He's trying to make a pass and pushed out of bounds at the 43 Huge play there from Cole West. Cole West had a big catch on offense, able to make a bigger catch on defense. At least his fourth interception on the season. Great ball hawk there in the secondary. That ball thrown by Johnson just up the middle. West read it the entire way. Great defensive awareness there from Cole West as the flag comes out late, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be for the celebrations over here on the sideline for the Royals. Too much celebration here for the Royals will push them back on the first down. Excited to see Carciaga or Gardner under center. So it'll push him back after the Cole West interception. And it looks like it will be Drew Gardner back out for the Roy Royals to lead this offense. You have a three possession lead with 11.15 left to go here in the fourth, Nate. You go conservative or you try to just keep playing your game? 
Yeah, it keeps doing what's gotten you here so far. You mix in the pass. Definitely try to. No kid will complain about getting in the end zone again, so let him play, Alex. Garner line up in the shotgun. Takes a snap. That one's bobbled. Garner just has to go down, and they'll lose yardage on that one. Adam DeMille able to make the tackle in the backfield. Secure that Gardner was going nowhere on the play. So they get pushed back with the flag on the return on the INT. And then the substitution for Cariaga to come back on the field. Cariaga back in now for Roy. Second and 17, ball on the 19-yard line for the home side Royals. Cariaga takes the snap, just trying to run it up the middle, but this time that Bonneville D-line expecting Cariaga and just meets him in the backfield. Yeah, defensive line doing a good job, plugging all the holes on the line. Nowhere for Cariaga to slip out to. Drew Gardner now heading back in. Here on third and 17, they've been in this situation before. They've been able to get the they, they've been able to get the first, and so we'll see what Drew Gardner and this offense are able to do. Yeah, a couple well-timed deep balls from Gardner. As so we saw the opening touchdown of the night to Robert Young in a similar situation. Third and seven, nine forty-five left to go here in the fourth. Garner trying to get the defense to jump. Drops back to pass. The pressure's coming. Has to roll out to his left. Looking to dump it off now. And that can't be brought in. Intended for Cove Rodriguez. And it goes incomplete. The punt team coming out for the Royals. Keaton Fleet able to slice through the offensive line. To put the pressure on Gardner. Forcing that rush throw. Not able to haul it in there. Great stand there by the Lakers. Unfortunate there from Cove Rodriguez, who just can't, couldn't haul it in. And it's now fourth and 17. Roy will punt it away, and again, you just give the ball back to the Bonneville offense for an opportunity to try to close the gap. Archuleta deep to return. Nice punt there from... The Roy Royals, as that one will just roll all the way back, it'll stop at the 25, and so this will shut up shop for Jackson Johnson and this offense. Sets them up for the old NFL touchback right down their own 25-yard line. 54-yard big leg there from the punt uh, from the Royals. So first and ten coming up on the twenty. So they they blew it dead at the twenty six. First and ten at the twenty six. Again, just Jackson Johnson in this offense with an opportunity to try to come in, close the gap a little bit. Currently a three possession game. As Johnson will dump it off, it's Archuleta now trying to make a move. Archuleta makes one miss, makes two miss. And then has to run out of bounds. Big reception there from Archuleta. Yeah, screen pace, screen pass, hauled in by Archuleta. Fights for the edge, gets pushed out of bounds after a gain of four. Second and seven, ball on the 29. Jackson lined up in the shotgun and a timeout taken on the field and we'll take one too here on the Rewind Sports Network. Welcome back into Roy High. We got 9.16 left to go where the Royals lead 27 to 12. Jackson takes the snap, hand up right up the middle. Looks like that's number... Number seven, Archuleta on the on the uh, the run. Third and six here for the Lakers. 
LRC.com. Clock is against them in the fourth quarter. Eight minutes and 39 seconds left. Johnson jumps back to pass. It's Archuleta with a big reception up the sideline, cuts inside, brought down. And Archuleta and this offense are showing that they still have fight in them. Coming up, flick to the line of scrimmage. Great ball there by Johnson, able to read the defense and get that ball to a big weapon, Archuleta. Avili comes out to the field to give Archuleta a breather after the big play. Johnson takes the snap, looking to throw, hand off this time to Mansare. And Mansare gets a push from Welch, and he almost makes it to the line again, but it was brought down about two yards short. Spinning around with the defender, able to bring it up short. Looking to the sideline to get the play here, as they still have momentum going to get down the field. Correction, so it'll be second and three. This time handed off to Havili, but Havili has nowhere to go. Big defensive play there from number 44, Colby Hepner. Colby Hepner, one of the leading tacklers on this Roy defense. Able to make a big step up there. Tackle for loss. Tough third down situation for the Lakers. Johnson and this offense need the first down here. They have to get the first down as third and seven drops back to pass, looking to throw, going for Mansare. It is DB Fox. and the wide receiver both get their hands on it. Ty goes to the runner. Big first down there by Mansare, able to haul it in, moving the sticks, breaking into the red zone. Big play there for Mansare. It's now first and 10, ball in the 19. Johnson taking the snap, looking for the end zone. And too much as Combe. But the flag comes out late. Very handsy defense there as we could see a flag on the DB, Corbin Schaffner. Giving potentially another first down here for the Lakers. Might be illegal touching on that one. As it looked like Combe Comb was out of bounds. Yeah, forced out of bounds by the DB. Oh, and it's going to be holding. So I'll call it holding. Yeah. <laughs> Played defense a little too well on that one. As this one moves the Lakers up for first and what? First. First and one yard. Here comes Jackson. Dumps it off as Havili brings it in. He is pushed back in the backfield. Is able to escape. Still Havili. And finally brought down by the by the Royals. Yeah, Havili doing a great job breaking off that first tackle. Able to get the ball just stretched out far enough for a split second for the first down as we get a big first and goal from the nine-yard line for the Lakers who are doing everything they can to fight back their way back into this one. Concession stand below the press box. Concession stand below the press box. Half price, hamburgers, and hot dogs. Half price. And so this is where we're going to end the call because they just announced that there's half price burgers going on downstairs. And so... We're going we're gonna to go down and grab some burgers. This is Johnson drops back to pass, looking for the end zone, and it is overthrown, incomplete. Hey, folks, direct your attention to the West Bleachers. The West Bleachers, 40-year reunion for the class of 1983. Stand up, wait for the fans. I don't know, Alex. Tempting to go down to get the concession stand burger, but just down the street is a, uh, a gem and Roy's Burger Bar. <laughs> just check. They close at 10. We might still be able to sneak in there after the game. <laughs> I want to give a shout-out to Jake Hatch, who also works for Rewind. Does a 
uh, analysis with uh, Mark Winderton, and he told me he said if you're going to Roy, you got to make sure you hit up that burger bar. As the flags come out. Delay a game. And so it's going to be second and long. Second and 14 on a goal line situation as Welch is brought down. Maybe maybe gets two yards on that game. Yeah, not able to pick up much on that one. Third down coming up for the Bonneville Lakers. Third and goal from the 15-yard line. They need to get it in the end zone as that one's going deep. It is incomplete. Intended for Combe. Yeah, Combe not able to haul it in. Number one, Schaffenauer able to defend that one. It's loud in here at Roy High School. It is fourth and goal. Ball on the 15-yard line. Again, they need to get it in the end zone. This could be one of the last chances for Bonneville as Johnson drops back to pass again. Going for the end zone. Tipped and incomplete. Massary not able to haul that one in right in the end zone. Turnover on downs here for the Royals as they come out to the field with five minutes and eight seconds left on the clock. Roy now. Huge. Let's, yeah, let's give credit to that defense on that play. You have a goal line situation. Yes, Bonneville had to come back a bit on penalties, but they held on really well in that, in that situation. Yeah, Lakers kept trying to attack those one-on-one -on -one coverage attempts at the corner routes great job by the dbs able to hold up no interference it was just to cause incompletions and so Kariaga and this roy offense coming back out onto the field That ball is snapped. Cariaga keeps, runs up the middle after a gain of about a yard. He'll be brought down. And they'll be happy to just see that clock tick away. Yeah, no sense of urgency here for the Royals as they huddle up and look to get the play again. Second and eight coming up, ball on the 16-yard line. Cariaga lined up in the shotgun. He takes the snap. He'll roll out to his right and is met by that defensive line for the Lakers. Yeah, Lakers able to adjust and slow down Cariaga as we were seeing him gash earlier in the night for multiple first downs. Those two drives, the, that Laker defense had no response for Joseph. And now they're doing a good job of containing him. Yeah, he's not able to get to those sidelines where he was so lethal to get up the field. Third and seven coming up on the 17. Clock at 3.45 left to go here in the fourth. Gariaga will take the snap. He's looking out to his right. Gets a lane, cuts up the middle, and he is now taking it to the 50. Trying to cut back inside to avoid, and he's brought down at the 40. Ball comes out, but it'll remain Roy. Cariaga yeah. in the open field, able to put the defenders on skates. They're flipping their hips left. They're flipping their hips right. They're not able to get to him as he's 
up the yard, up the field for a big first down. And Cariaga not after the after being brought down, he was motioning at his hip. And so Drew Gardner coming back in now for this Roy offense. Gardner takes the snap, handoff to Robert Young. And now maybe gets five, and uh, the flags come out late. It'll go against Roy. So it'll go for both, and it'll offset. So we'll replay second down after offsetting penalties. Again, late into this fourth quarter, we have three minutes left and a timeout by the Lakers. Timeout taken by that Bonneville defense. Hey, remember to give a call to Advanced Windows for their fall window sale. Get $2,000 off 10 windows or more. 60 months, 0% entrance financing is available for a limited time only. Make sure to take advantage of this offer before the winter comes, before it gets cold. Go buy your windows from Advanced Windows. Call 801-5850-910. Again, that's 801 801- Eight five zero nine one zero. Buy now. Stay warm now. Pay later. What a deal, Alex. You know what to go well with that. You know what to go well with that. Some make blue outfitters. Boost. <laughs> What's gonna keep me warmer? The windows. The wearable sleeping bag. Mix in both. Why not both? Second and, or excuse me, second down ball on the six as Roy takes the snap. Garner handoff to Young. Young trying to find a hole up the middle brought down after about four yards on the game, three yards on the game. And so it's going to bring up third down for the Roy Royals as they, again, just happy to see the clock wind down. Yeah, not a lot of urgency here for the Royals. As they continue to work with a 15-point lead as the clock keeps ticking away in the fourth quarter. Gardner. And this offense now setting up for third down. As the tight end goes in motion, Gardner takes a snap. And off this time, it's Cicela, who's just completely taken into the backfield. It'll be a loss for Roy, and it brings up fourth down and a timeout taken. Yeah, another timeout taken here by the Lakers as they're trying to stop the clock. Do everything they can to try to get a W tonight. So timeout taken on the field, and we'll take one as well here on the Rewind Sports Network. Welcome back into Roy High School. I'm Alex Napolis, happy to be joined by Nate Carter. It's a 27-12 lead for the Roy Royals as they have two minutes left on the board. Fourth down, they'll just punt it away and give it back to the Bonneville Lakers. Yeah, it looks like the Lakers have Archuleta and Cone back deep to return. A little short. The pressure there. came on the punter, and the punter was taken down, but they'll say that he, they tipped the ball, and it, it, it did look like it was tipped, obviously, because that punt was not the best. We saw how great of a punt uh, Frodger was able to do earlier, and then this one doesn't go as planned for, bon- for, for Roy. Excuse me. Yeah, great job by the Lakers special teams, able to get to the ball, able to cause some havoc there, giving a little bit better field position for this offense but I expect to air out the ball down the field to try to come back 
Johnson drops back to pass, looking to throw. Dumps it, tried to jump it off to Comb, but it's a little too much on that one as it goes over Comb and incomplete. Yeah, excited on that ball, a little too much on it. Not able to get it into Comey. Bringing up a second and 10 with a minute and 48 seconds left. Second and 10, ball on the 28 yard line for the Lakers. Again, it's just 27 to 12 as Johnson drops back. The pressure coming, has to escape to his left, tries to go back out to his right, up the middle. Johnson using his feet to get out of that, doesn't lose any yardage, and in fact gains three on that play. Gains three, brings up a third and seven for the Lakers. Looked like a designed screenplay, so not too many wide receivers down the field to bail him out there. Johnson trying to pass. Welch makes a move, is able to get the first, and then out of bounds. First down coming up for Bonneville. Yeah, Welch fighting for yards on the play, able to get up the field and out of bounds. First and 10 coming up, ball on the 39. We got 114 left to go. Just sliver of hope still for the Lakers sideline. Johnson and his offense need to air it out and get some yards on this one as Johnson pump fakes, rolls out to his left. Has time, the flags come out and that one is swatted out of bounds and we'll see what the flag is out. Flag coming out back in the pile as that offense was fighting to give Johnson as much time as he needed to get the ball down the field. One oh five left to go here, Nate. Looks like the foul happened a few yards behind the line of scrimmage. Gonna be pushing him back to a deep first and twenty. First and twenty ball on the twenty nine yard line for Johnson and this offense. Johnson coming out in the shock and Archuleta lined up. Alongside him as Johnson takes a snap. Try to dump it off to Welch. Comes off his helmet and almost intercepted by Roy. And it goes incomplete. Yeah. Almost intercepted off the fingertips. Coming hot off the helmet from Welch. Miscommunication there. After we've seen Welch be deadly on a couple drives. And get him down the field. Not able to make the connection there. I'm glad you mentioned that because we we got to give credit to Bonneville and that offense. They've been, they've done a very good job tonight overall. I think Welch has been fantastic for him. Mansory had a good night. Avili had some good runs. Johnson has been throwing it out, but unfortunately, they're coming up short tonight. Yeah, definitely room to improve, especially with all the penalties tonight. Johnson drops back to pass, looking to throw. The pressure's coming, has to roll out to his right. Still Johnson, he'll take it, and he'll step out of bounds after the two-yard gain. Bringing up about third and nine, third and eight. Oh, maybe a tougher spot, third and 11. Th 51 seconds left on the clock. Winding down here late in the fourth quarter. Johnson again in this offense. As Johnson drops back to pass, steps up, escapes the pressure, keeps, and goes down after five yards on the game. But the clock again just keeps running down. Clock's running. Looks like they're just trying to get to the line of scrimmage to get one last play. Johnson in the shotgun. Archuleta line up alongside him as that one goes over the middle. Caught by Cole, or excuse me, uh, Howell. And a timeout taken. 
Ooh, 17 seconds left. Lakers down by 15. Let's see what their coach can dial up for one of the last plays here in the game. So, yeah, it is going to be a timeout for the Bonneville Lakers as they want to talk this one over with 17 seconds. This Region 5 matchup, uh, uh, again, it's Roy's first year in Region 5 with the realignment and everything. They lost last week to Box Elder. What have you seen tonight from the Roy Royals to bounce back and what's going to be now looking to be a win for the Roy Royals? Yeah, defense was able to come out, play it crisp. Everyone was able to find their roles. They were able to slow down the Lakers enough to still be up 15 at this point in the game. like to see the discipline out there. And this one will surely keep things interesting in Region 5. Roy will now be sit at 2-1. And, and we'll talk more about that here in a second as Johnson drops back to pass. Welch, this one again, just can't bring it in. Welch, who's been fantastic tonight, has Logan not Chella. able to bring that one in. Yeah, Logan Chella. Up against Welsh, able to break out that pass, bringing up a second and ten. Thirteen seconds left on the clock. Ball on the 41 for Bonneville. Second and ten, Johnson in the shotgun. Drops back to pass, looking to throw, steps up in the pocket, flags come out. It's going to be a holding call against the Bonneville Lakers, and it'll, as Johnson steps out of bounds. Another holding and a push back the offense again. Five seconds left on the board. Be the last play of the game coming up here for a new found 5A rivalry. Bonneville High School, not too far from here, just across the I-15 over here to our right side over on the east side of the of I-15. As Combe will make the catch makes a move, makes two guys miss, and that's going to do it for the Roy Royals. They'll walk out victorious here at home, 27-12. to 12. Again, just keeping things interesting in Region 5. You now have the Roy Royals who will head up to 2-1. and one. The Lakers fall to 2-1. And one. and the Box Elder Beast, who got the win tonight, are now at 3-0. and oh. So this could be a fun end to Region 5. Yeah, definitely, Alex. Fun to see Roy able to bounce back after a tough game against Box Elder. Hard fought by both sides. Your final thoughts on the visiting Bonneville Lakers? Definitely took them a second to get the offense rolling. Great stand there. Just didn't go. I love my new Chevy Blazer. The first time I saw one driving down the road. And your final thoughts on the home side, Roy Wells, who walk out with a win. Roy Wells, strong win. Strong turnout tonight for the fans. Everybody should be celebrating. And so that's going to do it for us here on the Rewind Sports Network. Again, it's a 27-12 to win for the Roy Royals here at home against the Bonneville Lakers. Want to give a special shout-out to J Doug Jardine on camera tonight. From Alex Annapolis, from Nate Carter, and from the entire Rewind Sports family, we thank you for watching. Everyone have a good night, and we'll see you next week.